Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban Ballarama sunglasses. So first off, let's pop the sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. They have 62 millimeter lenses and a 19 millimeter bridge. And as you guys can see here, they feature a wraparound style. That means that they offer exceptionally good coverage from the sun. So if this pair of sunglasses, you're not gonna have to worry about sunlight coming in here up at the top or here at the sides. They really do a good job of wrapping around the face and offering full coverage from the sun. This style was first released all the way back in 1967, and it was very popular in the late 60s. It also experienced a revival in the 1990s when BL Ray-Ban brought these sunglasses back. They really became very trendy then as well. Now jumping forward all the way to current day, 2020, these sunglasses are just as popular as they've ever been because Ray-Ban is really pushing them, and also they were featured in Ford vs. Ferrari, and Christian Bale, one of the main actors in that movie, was seen wearing these sunglasses on multiple occasions. So having these frames featured in that film also really helped boost the popularity of them. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the fine details of the sunglasses. They have an etched RB logo here in the left middle lens. They also have a Ray-Ban logo here in the outside temple. And also on the outside temple, we can see two metal accents here. And then the front of the frames, again, two metal accents. These frames also feature a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the sunglasses, like every new pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses have. However, if you're looking for that retro style, or if you're looking for the style that Christian Bale wore in the film, you're gonna have to go ahead and remove that Ray-Ban logo to give these sunglasses a logo-less style from the front. It's actually super easy to remove the logo. And I actually made a video, so if you guys wanna click right here, you guys can check out my video on how to remove that Ray-Ban logo if you want to. Now these sunglasses also have beautiful acetate frames that look really good, especially when you walk outdoors with these sunglasses. The light really hits these acetate frames. It really makes them pop and look very beautiful here indoors. They are much darker than they would be, of course, outside. Now, as far as lenses go, the sunglasses have very nice all glass lenses. And these lenses are Ray-Ban's G15 lenses. That's a green gray lens. And these are the classic lenses found on a lot of different Ray-Ban sunglasses. These frames are available with polarized lenses. And if they do have polarized lenses, they'd have a little P after the Ray-Ban logo. This particular pair does not have polarized lenses. Now, as far as build quality goes, these sunglasses are built very nicely. The frames are absolutely beautiful and they they do have very premium and nice all metal hinges, which feel very good when opening up and when closing them. And these sunglasses are made in Italy. And I say that here in the inner right temple, it's a Ray-Ban made in Italy. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at the inner left temple sunglasses, they say RB4089, which is the model number of these. And they also say Ballarama here. And then we can see they give uh, some more information, including the lens size and the bridge width that's gonna be painted on here in the inner left temple sunglasses. So overall, I really do like these sunglasses. They have an absolutely iconic style to them, but unfortunately for me personally, I don't think I can really pull off the wraparound style very well. So for me personally, I really love the style and the shape of these sunglasses, but as far as me wearing them on face, I really don't like them as much as I do something like a pair of Ray-Ban Aviators or a pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers. So this style is not for me in my face shape, in my opinion. My only other complaint about these frames is they have these beautiful acetate frames that are very nice and bright here. And sometimes the sun is up high and shining down through the frames. It's actually going to make the frames very bright and you can actually see the frames in your vision. It doesn't cause me to squint. I can just see a very bright section where the frames are because the frames are being illuminated and that means that they look really cool when people are looking at you wearing them. Unfortunately that just creates a very bright section here on your vision and I'm having a hard time describing it here but basically it creates a red orange color here up at the top and that can be a little distracting like I said it doesn't make you squint but it just leaves a red you know mark here basically you can see the frames and they look red uh, I think is the best way I can say it here uh, but it's definitely not ideal but that only happens if the sun is high and kind of shining here up top and then shining through the frames but if you're wearing these sunglasses in the car you're definitely not going to deal with this as an issue overall like I said I do like this pair of sunglasses I wish they looked a little bit better on my face but unfortunately it is what it is I can't change my face and I do pull off a lot of other different sunglass styles but when it comes to wraparound styles I just don't think they look quite as good on my face as something like 
Clubmaster, Aviator, or Wayfair styling. But I am very interested to know, what do you guys think about these sunglasses in the comment section down below? Do you guys actually think I can pull these sunglasses off? Or do you think I should stick to those other sunglasses that I just mentioned? I am very interested to know, so make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section down below. As far as pricing goes, these are gonna run you around $160. However, you can pick these up on Amazon for around $140, sometimes a little bit cheaper. So I'm going to leave a link in the description down below where you guys can check the sunglasses directly from Amazon. Well, that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video, just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.